Hey Taurus, what's up? Welcome to VMHP. Where today I'm gonna um, get into the past, present, future energy for you and your person. Kind of seeing what a love vibe is. So I'll be pulling out a deck for you, a deck for your person, and we'll go ahead and jump into this reading. Other than that, Taurus, when I was getting into your energy, I don't know why I heard India Irie. And then it was followed by a brown skin. So your person can be a brown skinned or something, or they like your brown skin, something like that. Because I don't listen to that song too often. I haven't heard that song in like two years. But let's see what's up. At the center of the reading, you have intimacy crossed by abundance. At the foundation, compatibility. Wow. In the recent past, the sacred woman crowning the reading, serendipity. And in the near future, commitment. Okay, it looks like your person is ready to step their game up in this future energy. It seems like this has always been like a very strong connection. But something about someone here is very spiritual. And it may have been um, this, this uh, connection may have been interrupted for this person to continue to grow, to continue to go down their life path or something like that. You know, sometimes we think it's all about us and think it's all about love. But when you have a true call on your life, I mean, you can't be distracted with some of these things that we find so important, which is like love, romance, all that type of stuff. But um, let's see here. So, for your person, Taurus, I'm going to use this deck. And for you, I'm going to use this deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio for me to grab that deck, Taurus. But, um, let's see what's going on. Beloved, how is Taurus feeling about their person? How is Taurus feeling about their person? How is Taurus feeling about their person, please? Thank you. So you have the emperor. So you could be dealing with the Aries Taurus. Or I'm getting right away that this could be a father figure, a parent figure or something that's coming between this connection. Let's see. What's going on with Taurus person? How does um Taurus person feel about Taurus, please? How does Taurus person feel about Taurus, please? How does Taurus person feel about Taurus, please? Thank you so much. Ooh, we, they watching, hawking, and stalking. With this Princess of Soros energy, they keeping an eye on you for some reason. Ooh, it's something they trying to figure out about you. Something they don't think they know. And they want the truth about. Mm. Let's see what's up with compatibility. So they got the king of wands. And you got the world card. You know with them being in this king of wands energy. I feel this energy. If I read. Um, if I read cards in reverse. I feel like this king of uh, wands. Will be like a player. Manipulator. Somebody that. Um. That uh, is a, a little promiscuous, to say the least. I feel like this person tries to exude strength into their environment, but it comes off as weakness. Like, I don't know, Taurus, if you're able to see through this person for some reason. I feel like you've seen through this person, and that's why the world card is here. It could have came to an end. It could have been because it was other people involved in this relationship. She got a lot of people on the stairs behind her. You know, so she, I don't know. Maybe you had to leave some things behind. But it's like that same lion that this king of wands came riding on, you already beheaded that lion. Like you, you've you already been where they were trying to come or something. Like you're always one step ahead of this person or something. Then you got the ego, which is intuition. You have the bull, which is yourself. And then you have this lady, which um, could be you, could be your person or something like that. But I feel like, like you always like knew you had the, 
the power to either leave this connection or something or you were given a key to unlock the door to discover your true self again because you know how sometimes we can lose ourselves in relationships i feel like that may have been what happened to you Taurus. you could have lost yourself in this relationship with this person <laughs> Now what the now what the hell is going on here? You won't believe it, Taurus. Six of Wands and the Six of Wands. Okay. It was a lot of people involved in you guys' connection for whatever reason. Did you guys feel like you needed to prove something to other people? Or were other people like like the determining factor of why you guys ended it or something? Because I see on one hand, someone was getting like accolades and, 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 and seeing as like a hierarchy of something. While the other person was kind of in the energy of trying to defend themselves about this situation. Whoever this sacred woman is... Even if they had to defend themselves in the in the uh, physical realm and the spiritual realm, they were already defended. It's almost it's almost one of those situations where haven't you heard that not to mess with the chosen ones type energy? I feel like somebody needs to learn that because I don't know I don't know whose energy this was that wasn't humble, but they. They are used to people chasing them and being on them and, and people wanting them. These were family members and friends. Take it how it applies in whichever energy. For someone it was family members, for someone it was friends. But some other entity, third party energy, played a part in whatever happened in the past with you and this person. It seemed like Taurus, like, I don't know if you had to rediscover yourself, redefine yourself, or whatever this key symbolizes for you. But whatever, when you open this door to this new beginning or this new cycle, whatever, you discover the power that was within you. So instead of needing that key to unlock this power, you have all power in your hand, which is beautiful. Alrighty. So your person has temperance and you have the queen of wands. Oh, so Taurus, you blew up on that ass, huh? You start looking good, feeling good about yourself, being back to you. And this person, like, oh my goodness. And like this person can stand to see you in that light or see you happy or see you back on your feet or see you back to yourself. Because we never really go back to ourselves after we experience traumatic experiences. And I don't know why I call this traumatic. Maybe you went through a lot with this person. But after we experience these experiences in life and go through a traumatic experience, we're never the same person. We've evolved into someone much greater, much stronger, more aware, all of that type of stuff. So... It's like this person hated to see that because as long as as long as they could keep you kind of on their level and being like kind of what that was, they were fine with that. But for you to blow up into this Queen of Wands energy and be like this beautiful person and um, someone that really got your shit together, they hate it. What's up with you and your person? Y'all twin flames or some Taurus? Abundance, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands. <coughs> Excuse me. I've never seen so much t uh, synchronicity in, in all of the tarot readings. Like, it's like the crossing energies. You both have like this this passion and this urge for for more. But I believe like your desires are different. Like towards yours might be for more, you know, money, more stability, housing, home, businesses, you know, apartment buildings, boats, cars, whatever it is. Like you are that type of zodiac sign. You're you're when you think of abundance, you think of it in that terms. I feel like this person, Ace of Wands, might be <laughs> Oh, this is that energy coming back from this winter. Who is this person, Taurus? Their energy is to get your abundance. 
like their passion, their goal, what they what they want to do. I don't know why this person feels like they can't get it just like you get it or they can't live just how you live. Like I say, I don't know if you put this person up on their high horse or you was helping this person out doing stuff for this person and making them feel some type of way. Now that you ain't around, they don't feel like up and they're still watching you be up. I don't know, but their their ace of wands is a little bit different from yours. There's them from from trying to be you, from trying to want what you have, almost like a competition type energy. Weird shit. So they got the hangman crown in the reading, and you got the four of cups. Your love for them has died. Okay, when you look at these four cups, it's like one, two, three, four. They get smaller and smaller and whatnot. So you really not like paying this person attention because you know that something good is coming for you. But this person, I don't know why they're in this hangman energy like they can't get over you or they were waiting for something from you. Maybe this person will feel like they got closure or something like that. But whatever the situation is, I see you're in this mode like whatever. Like you've you've been through it, like you just kind of over it for the most part. Maybe you've moved forward and moved on or something like that. Huh. Commitment, interesting. You got the tower and they got the damn. Um, I mean, they got the tower and you got the hermit. Like I said at the beginning of the reading, this person's watching you, Taurus. With this um, page of swords energy. I don't know if they're watching you inspired. If they're watching you out of ador adoration. I don't know why this person is. But this is what happened to their wand in the near future. I don't know if they get rejected or something by you. And this just make them flip their damn top. Maybe go off. Go ham or something. But they definitely watching you like. No, it's like you 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 reject this person, deny this person or something. And I don't think they used to that. But they didn't realize that you only became a damn emperor. You've been taking care of your business the way you're supposed to take care of your business. And they do not like that at all, Taurus. So let's see. What else does Taurus need to know? I'm trying not to make the reading so long. What else does Taurus need to know, please? Thank you. Oh, that's exactly what it is. They're heartbroken over what they lost. So losing you broke this person damn heart. But you know what's crazy? As I feel like they had something to do with the reason why their damn heart is broken. A marriage would take place either romantically or in business. So this person might be like one to settle down now after all the bullshit. But I don't know if you're going because the moon. You're experiencing changes in your life. And this person has no idea what the hell you've been up to. And I feel like that's why they watching you. It's something that they want to know. Oh, we. I'm going to bring these out. I don't... These are rough. My Divine Masculine um, Real Talk Oracles. They're a little rough, but let's see what comes out. What does Taurus need to know about this person, please? What does Taurus need to know about this person, please? Thank you. Alrighty. Five is good. So they think that you're their true love, Taurus. Now, I think they realize that. This could be a lesbian relationship or something like that, Taurus, or somebody in the relationship could be a, a, a stud or something. But there is a crazy bitch that's involved in this scenario. This could be a past energy. Um, this could be a current energy. But it's some crazy-ass person here. And I feel like this may be the third party or whatever that's involved in the situation whoever the masculine energy is been stressed and depressed i remember saying something about um a father figure um i'm not sure if this is that father figure coming up or this is your person towards but somebody stressed the fuck out and i feel like they 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 stressed out because they know like what they did or something or they were trying to emulate somebody or i don't like it didn't come up in the reading, which is interesting that I said it and it didn't come up. But I feel like that's that person, okay? And then we have a black widow. Somebody better watch out. This black widow, huh? everybody around them die. 
That's what a black widow is. So somebody better be careful with the way that they're behaving, the way they're treating people, all that type of stuff, because you just never know. All right, so let's go ahead and get your, see what zodiac sign she could be dealing with, and we'll close out this reading. Beloved, what's the possible zodiac signs that Taurus can be dealing with? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I just had to double check, make sure it's 12 zodiac signs before I got started. What's the possible zodiac signs Taurus could be dealing with, please, in this energy? Thank you. We have an Aries, a Sag, a Libra, fake ass Libras, a Capricorn, and Scorpio. I'll explain why I said fake ass Libras because I'm sorry. My sign, I'm going to have you guys guess, whoever kind of guess my sign, I'm going to do a free reading for it. But um, with my sign, Libras, mm -mm, we too real for Libras. And yeah, but that's a whole nother, um, whole nother story in itself. But either way, Taurus, that's the reading I have for you, beloved. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, beloved. Take care.